You it's, see me? Okay. Yeah, it's all good. Is everything okay. all right now? I think so. I just connected it up to the um, Ethernet internet. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Whatever you Bikes call it, that that thing. Yeah, the Ethernet, the internet. So, um, just want to have a little chat to you today um, about. Um, a lot of photographers, uh, Amy, sort of uh, when they start uh, their photography and their passion, they, they want to grow and uh, their hope, I think their goal, their dream is to turn over at least 100000 a year and they hope to do that in a year or two. Um, so I thought it'd be good to speak to you today but someone that's actually done it and done it all by themselves with just a little bit of help. So just tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you? Where are you in the world? Uh, whereabouts? What country? So I'm in Auckland in New Zealand, and um, I've been doing this for uh, can't even think how long now. Um, I started in about 2004 photographing weddings. Okay. And been photographing newborns since 2010. Okay. So you've got a little home studio there. Yeah. Um, and that's what, a converted garage, double st double garage? Yeah, so it was a long garage, and this yep. was the laundry and part of the garage. So Okay, so you operate, <laughs> operate solely from there, and you take the photographs there, you specialise in newborns, and you also do your selling there. You do in-person sales. Yes, yeah. Okay, so you've been around since before for seven years. Yeah, seven and a must be almost eight years that I've been doing newborns, but prior to that, um, doing weddings. Okay, so with the transition to newborns, just tell me, like, when, how long did it take you before you could get to this uh, six figure turnover? Was it a couple of years, do you think? Three? Was it more? Um, I honestly don't know. Probably three or four, at a guess. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, to the photographers watching this, I want to give them some idea of this isn't an instant click of the fingers overnight thing you can do. It takes time, right? Yeah. It takes time yeah. to build a brand. It takes time to test, sort out your marketing, getting things right, etc. As you went on your journey... Obviously, you had a lot of uncertainties. Where did you go for help? Um, so I met a lot of photographers along the way through NZIPP and um, through groups on Facebook and um, had a lot of great advice from them, um, which helps, you know, to know how to price yourself and um, how to do in-person sales because it's all a bit foreign if you've never done that before. Right. Um, so you had a lot of help with that sort of thing. Um, a little bit on the marketing side as well. Yeah. So you looked for some mentors in the industry and uh, created this business. The business grew. Um, how many kids have you got, by the way? I've got four kids. You got, how old are they? They're 11, 9, 7 and 5. Right. So all school age. All school <laughs> age. So that means that you uh, send them to school and uh, then you can work on your business? Yeah, yeah. But that's only been since October last year that my youngest was at school. Okay. Are they yeah. boy, boys and girls, a mixture? I've got three girls and one boy. Okay. Yeah. So it would have been harder if you'd had three boys and one girl, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have been louder. <laughs> yeah, a bit louder. <laughs> yeah, we would get that way. So... You, you grew this business, uh, you started specialising in newborns, that's the, your niche. Um, obviously, you've got a lot of experience with babies and kids because you've got them of your yes. own. Um, mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> did you do any sort of self-study online courses or anything like that? Um, I did um, years ago when I first started. I did an online course and learning how to use my camera. Okay. Then I did a few small um, newborn courses online 
Um, but mostly I'm self-taught in regards to posing newborns. It's just been a lot of practice and trying things out, seeing what works. It's a matter of doing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we were just talking in our Skype session earlier that um, you haven't got any studio software at present, uh, but you're just looking yeah. into that now. Yeah. Yeah. That will yeah. help, help you. What's that, sorry? That will help you. Yeah, yeah. I've seemed to have managed okay without it so far, but um, it is getting a bit trickier to keep a track of where everyone's at, where the clients are at with their jobs and everything. So that's uh, that's a natural progression now, and and I've been coaching you for about three months now, right? In a in a twelve month yeah. program. What? Just tell everyone why you um, felt you needed a coach. Well, I've been in my studio, my new studio, previously working out of my lounge. So I've been in my studio for over a year and I have the time on my hands now to grow my business, but I haven't right. seen it growing. It's sort of, I guess I got it to a point where it would work um, fine, but it wasn't expanding. So I just want to grow it further and fill in the hours of the day. Yeah, which, which you you have because you're very efficient in what you do. As I was telling you earlier, I think you're fantastic. Uh, we were mm -hmm. saying, though, you were also saying that your average sale has, has increased by, or was it this week or this month, by $400? Yeah, so compared to the same month last year, right. it's $400 up on the average sale. And yeah. You were saying that the turnover this month is up as well from last year. Yeah, yeah, significantly up. So, yeah, it's been good. So I'm guessing my coaching has been effective so far. It has, yeah. <laughs> I think um, it's given me a bit more confidence with pricing because it is such a unknown minefield, you know, how do I change things? And, and when things are running smoothly, you don't want to rock the boat too much. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, yeah, giving me some confidence to adjust things. I was saying earlier too that if we don't keep this marketing going and, and things can dramatically change and you just get nothing, you get no inquiries, you get, you get no work in fact and I've seen it happen. So mm. um, why we talk each week and why I encourage you to do is keep some marketing happening whether it's a long-term project or short-term, it has to be a mixture of things. And so we've been working on that. And uh, and your work looks great. I'm also trying to encourage you to do something a bit different. Have you had thoughts on that? Um, directions? Like you just do newborns. We can do so many other genres. Yeah, I've, I've been um, playing around with my kids a bit with um, okay. trying out new lighting styles and things. But they um, aren't always the most cooperative. <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah, they can do it for a, a while and I know I had the same thing with my two kids my son just didn't want to be there end of story my daughter yeah. loved to pose but he just didn't want to be there so we, we did eventually get a professional photographer to take some photos oh, yeah. and my kids like being in the photos but the problem is they all like being in the studio at once and then it just becomes chaotic and Okay. You know, one's trying to hold a reflector and the other's moving oh, the light by accident. And <laughs> they think they know better than you, hey? Yes, they do. <laughs> so we've got some photographers obviously watching this. I guess the, the, the photographers that, who are watching this may be at the beginning of the journey. What sort of advice would you give them um, when they're starting off? You've, you've been through that period. What, what would you say to them? Um, I think my biggest advice always so when I'm teaching and when I'm asked in interviews is pretty much learn your lighting if right. you um, don't get your light right you can take a beautiful photo a beautifully posed photo and it looks terrible because it's badly lit so it doesn't, it doesn't have to be expensive lighting you can use natural light but just learn where light should sit on a face yeah 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 well it's something that uh, I'm certainly passionate about about uh, the light and uh, you know we're doing a series of, of lighting seminars here in Australia and we're coming over to New Zealand mm -hmm. to do it as well so it's so important um, to get that right uh, to get the lighting right and it's something it's that okay. uh, 
yeah, it's good good advice that you give photographers, and the best way to learn is by doing and, and trying and, mm. and setting things yeah. up and, and doing it. So that that's really good. All right, well, I won't take up much more of your time because I know that you lead a busy life, eh? I do. <laughs> and it's nearly time to pick the kids up, right? Yes, it is. Do they all go to the same school? No, one of them buses, but she um, okay. walks to the bus and walks home from the bus, so... Okay. Yeah. So she's self sufficient. Yeah, she is. <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. Uh, thanks, Amy. And if anyone wants to go and have a look at your work and have a look at your studio, there's some photographs of your studio up there. Where do they have to go to? So, um, amycope.co.nz, which is A 